Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyce and Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make three different projects to decorate your home for fall. Let's get into it. For our first project, we're going to be using scrap wood. I'm going to be using some leftover quarter inch plywood. You can get this from the local hardware store, pre-cut and pre-sanded. I printed out an oval and a banner that I found online to use as my templates. Once I cut out the first oval, I used some double-sided tape to stick it onto the wood to use my router to cut out the other two ovals. We really appreciate you watching our video and we really care about your opinion. So if there are certain projects that you want to see more of or if you have some great ideas for some projects we can tackle, please let us know in the comments below. Because this plywood is pre-sanded, I only needed to smooth out the edges once everything was cut out. Alright, now that we have all our pieces cut out and the edges smooth, it's time for assembly. Because this wood is so light, hot glue is plenty strong enough to hold all these pieces together. For our second decor project, we're going to be using all prefab pieces that we picked up at the local craft store. You can get these little pieces of wood for around 60 cents a piece. For the stem on these small pumpkins, I just bought some letter Q's from the local craft store. They're made out of like a dense paper, so they cut really easily with a box cutter. Decorating is where you can really have some fun. We painted most of ours freehand, but you can use stencils or stickers or whatever suits your fancy.
For our third and final project, we're not going to be using wood at all. We're actually going to be using some of these EVA foam floor pads that you get at the local hardware store. You can pick up a package of six for around $20, so you'll have plenty left over for other projects in the future. This foam cuts extremely easy with a sharp box cutter. And there you have it. All our foam pieces are cut out. It took less than five minutes. Now it's time for assembly. Now I couldn't use hot glue on the foam, so I used E6000 to assemble all the foam pieces. I used some caulk on the seams just to give it a little smoother look. Regular paint doesn't work so good directly on the foam, so I put a primer coat of Plasti Dip. You can pick this up at any local hardware store for about the same price as regular spray paint. Alright, and there you have it. Three quick and affordable projects that you can make to decorate your house for fall. This one right here I actually saw in a craft store and they had it marked at like $25 or $30. And these little wooden pieces that you can buy individually are only $0.60 cents a piece. So in the end, I already had the paint and the string. It really only cost me less than $10 to make it. And it came out really nice. Uh, this one is... I'm kind of partial to this one just because with all the shading and the different colors and everything, this looks legit store-bought. Christina did such a good job on the lettering, it really came out nice. Um, and the foam one, the thing I like about the foam one, first of all, it's super, super light. You can put it anywhere, it can even go outside, and it's a little bit thicker, so it looks a little bit more substantial, almost kind of gives it a three-dimensional look, and I was able to carve away on the little banner right here to kind of make it look like it's really waving. All in all, these are really quick and affordable, easy projects that you can do for the holidays. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. If you want to see all our other projects, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And we would love to hear what you thought of these projects down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.